Thank you, House Chair. House Chair, the ACDP supports this report and shares the deep concerns that are highlighted both by the Commission's report and by this report in the state of shelters for abused women and children, particularly at this time where there is such a focus on gender-based violence. However, this report was brought out in 2019 and was considered this year, and maybe it needs to be updated given the impact of COVID-19 and the financial constraints that have been caused as a result of the hard lockdown and the economic implications and the cut on budgets. So what is highlighted in this report and what was said by the Commission was the budgetary constraints. And if I would like to just quote from the chairman of the commission that then said, we were worried about the fact that all the centers were complaining about budget allocation. If ever they are given a budget, they were paid late. And now we know that the finances of the state are in a far worse situation today, and therefore it would appear that the budget constraints would be more severe. Now we in the Justice Portfolio Committee are dealing with the GBV uh, bills at this stage and one of the reasons why they haven't been finalized is because of our requirement that every department should come and give an allocation and give an account whether they are ready to implement the amendments that are being proposed and one of them was social development and the need also from this perspective of human settlements as to the need for shelters and there is concerns that whilst we might Past this very, very improved legislation, there would be insufficient funds to provide for the shelters. So this is a deep concern from the perspective of the ACDP, and it needs to be addressed. We need to ensure that sufficient funds are given to provide shelters for women and children that are abused. Thank you, House Chair.